Young Momotaro, are you sure that you wish to continue? If you emerge victorious, you will be fighting Heracles. I know. You're aware? Then why keep at it? Heracles surely is too much for you. Lord Susano, oh, this is a tournament. I want to prove myself to everyone here, even if it means having to fight Heracles. <laughs> Just because you want to prove yourself, even if it means facing the gods? Yes, and maybe we'll share a Kibidongo after. And that is why I am glad you came along, boy. This is what a tournament like this is about, proving yourself. Best of luck, kid. Thank you, Lord Susano. Well, Momotaro hopped into the ring, or rather, what had been the ring, his sandals kicking up dust as he did so. Uh, hey, I'm sorry for the delay. Please don't think ill of me because of it. His opponent removed his thumb from his mouth, the Irishman leveling his sword a moment later. Why, oh, it's fine. Not every day you can get advice from a god. Oh, thank you. So, you're ready then. Let's go! Right. Let's. They kicked off at one another, blades flashing beneath the still darkened sky. The swords met and slid down one another, placing the pair face to face. Would be lying if I didn't say I expected a wee bit more from you. Finn cracked a cheeky smile. Well, I am just starting. My previous opponent forfeited. Momotaro replied before swinging his blade around. <laughs> its steel met Finn's sword the Fianna leader halting his only slayer foe. Already fighting different? Should've kept my mouth shut? Hey, I didn't say it'd take long for me to loosen up. Can you keep pace with this? Well, if you're loose, I could cut loose some too. With that, the Irishman began to attack. <coughs> Momotaro had to evade, a few strands of his black hair waving down as cuts tore into the ground. It was close there, wasn't I? Ah, uh, you certainly bear no signs of fatigue. Trust me, Lancelot left me a bit knackered. He was strong, even when he was fighting half-hearted. He pushed you that hard, huh? Momotaro replied before adjusting his feet. His sandals sank in before he charged, disappearing in the process. <coughs> oh. Despite his efforts, Momotaro found his blade stopped, Finn shielding himself with his own blade. I thought I could have had you there. It would take more than that, I'd say. Though, if I weren't ready, your skill alone could probably beat me. Uh, thank you. You're a respectable swordsman, too. Pleasantries aside, Finn took the offensive, his feet crushing the ground. <laughs> what? what Momotaro's sword was knocked from his hand, tumbling to the wayside, piercing the ground several yards away. Go ahead. Grab your sword. Uh, you're letting me pick it up. Of course. Beating a disarmed man doesn't sit right with me. Oh, whatever your reasons are. Thank you. The display of kindness was answered as soon as the sword was back in Momotaro's hands. <coughs> Two darts, they danced about the open field, blades flashing as they moved from place to place. Even attacks like that? Huh. That's impressive. I faced a bunch of Oni, but none of them were like you. Would you share a Kibidanga with me after all this? Don't know what that is, friend, but it sounds great. Win, lose, or draw. Sure, let's share one. Finn pushed his way forward as Momotaro held his blade at his side. That's something you've been waiting to use. Go ahead. You knew. Are you sure? It could kill you. Yeah, just let it all out. I want to say your best. Let it all out, Momotaro did. The air was cut dozens of times. Finn caught in the midst of the attacks. The flurry ended, and Momotaro stood. He was almost slack-jawed at the sight. Uh, hey, are you okay? Finn stood without his shirt or mail, his torso and face covered in spilling blood, yet he was smiling. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I've, I've seen worse. Oh, I don't know if I've ever seen worse. How are you still standing? Don't worry, I'm tough and stubborn. The Irishman took forward, his sword raising from along the ground. Momotaro, get out of the way, now. That's too much, even for you. 
but Motaro was rocketed away, his sword having bore the brunt of the assault. He tumbled and ground to a stop, supporting himself on his blade to rise. Huh? Ugh! Finn loomed atop him, sword upon his shoulder and smile upon his face. Wow, that was some hit! Yeah, that's the power I was using against Lancelot, like I said earlier. Even without his full heart in the fight, he was my better. Or near it anyway. <clears throat> yeah, you can just let loose like that with every swing? Not every swing, not now. You did a number on me, but I can do enough to beat you, maybe even kill you. On accident, of course. Finn spoke respectfully to his younger foe, keeping that jovial smile. Then I really shouldn't surrender, but I also don't want to die. So let's just go until we tire. Momotaro answered honestly before raising to his feet. Right, your warrior's coat. The pair vanished with those words, charging at one another like two bulls. Momotaro was slammed across the arena, his frame flailing to the ground. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, uh, thanks for that. It would have looked bad if I quit. I know, Momotaro. Your god's over there. He has a smile. Well, <laughs> you win, Finn. Good job. Well, thank you for the good match. Do you think you could beat Heracles against him? He looked to the terrace where Heracles sat among the other Greek heroes, catching his breath. What exactly is a kibidongo? Uh, well, a kibidongo is a dumpling made of millet flour. They're filled with sweet paste and things. Sweet, you say? Sounds nice. Let's have one. That's only fitting after beating one another senseless, eh? 